The super yacht in front of us is a 2013 Columbus Yachts 40S Hybrid. Naturally, it was first delivered in 2013. Its most recent refit was in 2021. And guys, think all the way back, 2013, it's very impressive that you have a hybrid super yacht back in that era. This yacht actually won many different awards, including Rena's Hybrid Propulsion and Green Star Plus Platinum Notations. So it's definitely way ahead of its time. This yacht was designed by Hydrotech and the interior design was done by Hot Lab. And a couple days ago, I was walking around Pier 66, which is adjacent to the Super Yacht Village here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. I saw the Super Yacht and I knew we had to get on board to tour it. So we called the broker and then two days later, here we are. Now this yacht was built by Columbus Yachts. That's a famous shipyard in Italy as part of the Palumbo Group. Palumbo owns a few different brands, including Columbus, also Extra Yachts, and ISA Yachts or ISA Yachts. Those are very well-known brands in Italy. They make a fantastic, high-quality super yacht. So, because this is a hybrid yacht, it's very efficient. You can actually, I'm just gonna say it now, you can get as low as 40 gallons per hour when you're cruising at 13 knots. That's extremely fuel efficient for a yacht like this. It also has an aluminum hull and superstructure. And this particular model is listed for sale by Luis Perez at One Water Yacht Group. So thank you to him for granting me access on board this incredible listing. I think that's enough of me rambling for now. We have the unique opportunity to show you the profile shot. So we're gonna make our way down the dock. And right away, you're gonna notice you do have the side folding terrace on this side. And then we can step up and board through the side gate. Let's try to get our back turned to the wind but you'll see this beautiful alfresco dining area, the huge, really deep bench seating, and of course the chairs that go along with it. And then we're gonna see the engine room and the beach club later in the tour. This aft deck also features a bar area. So if we come over here, you'll see a sink. You have storage right here, as well as a large refrigerator. All right guys, and then through this powered glass door, this is how we'll make our way into the main salon. Guys, I'm a huge fan of this yacht, just in my walkthrough already. This yacht is truly stunning. The beautiful stone in the floor. And you actually have your dining room all the way aft, which is kind of unique. And we saw the one on the intro. So you have a wall of doors right here. So you can open this up. You have your terrace that folds over. And you also have the same exact thing on the opposite side. So once again, way ahead of its time, you can see the teak lining right there. So this will fold over. And then back here, you also have another bar area. You can see you have your drink or wine fridge right there. There's another refrigerator for wine or champagne right down here. So everywhere you look, you're really well stocked. And I really like how, you know, this was a 2013, but it's a very contemporary light very nice feeling in here with all of the interior design. And then here you'll see your main salon. So you have the TV mounted on the wall and then all your seating right here. And I stepped a little bit too close to that door so that opens up automatically. And there also is another door tucked away right here. And this leads to the galley. But you can also access the galley around the corner. So I think they just leave this area closed for the most part. Gosh, this is such a beautiful super yacht. And I'm so happy I was walking over in this direction and I saw it because I did not see this before the show. So we definitely lucked out here. We have a side access door to the side deck here. The guest cabins, they'll be down this staircase. So we'll see that soon. More storage for wine. Chilled or room temperature. Here we have the day head for the main level. And then this door leads to the galley and the crew area. But we'll start with the owner suite on the main deck. They have a desk space right here. And obviously a personal option, but you have the massage chair. And then on this wall, we have your TV. And if guys, if you're a wine drinker, like the video right now, because check this out. All of this built-in storage here. So much different areas for room temperature storage, for cold storage. You're never going to run out of space on this one. And then through this door, it's nice you can't close this area off or keep it open. This is the full beam owner suite.
absolutely massive space. Look at the little curves in the ceiling here in the woodwork. Beautiful details in every single area I'm noticing. The interior designer did a fantastic job. And Hydrotech, who actually designed the ship, they're a very well-known designer of super yachts. They build some of the finest or design some of the finest custom yachts in the world, actually. Back here, it looks like a massive closet space. So large dressing table, all the drawers over here. And then if we look up, you do have hanging space on all of these different sections. And then of course, even more storage in here. I like how the accent lighting, it's actually in the acrylic, I would imagine, in that railing. So it just lights up the whole light. Your TV on the wall, of course. Little seating area on the far side. And then check out the ensuite. You have your soaking tub right over here. The huge shower right in the middle so you can walk through. You have the teak lining on the floor. You have the double rainfall shower. They're also accent lighted. And you also have the additional shower wands. And then you can see two heated towel racks. The other vanity on this side. And then of course, the toilet tucked away right here. And you also have, I did want to check behind the door. We also have the bidet on this side. And you have the beautiful stone tile as well. So every single space. Also, even look at this. You have the blinds over it, but obviously you also have these really large windows as well. So you get the privacy, but you also get the view. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm clearly very impressed with this one. I'd be shocked if you weren't. And even if, you know, you don't like the light color palette, hope you at least recognize all the fine materials and the attention to detail that went into this build. This is truly an incredible listing. And guys, don't even worry. I'm, I know I'm going on, but we're just getting started. So plenty more to see on this one. So we're going to head down to the guest cabins now. And I don't think I covered it in the intro. We had so much to say, but this sleeps 11 guests in five different staterooms. So we'll start all the way aft. Once again, just look at the little detail sections here in the woodwork on the door. I love that pattern. This of course is your closet. And I like how you have the same finishes and design elements in the ensuite. And look at the size of the shower in the VIP. Now, let's cruise over to this side. Same style of closet, your TV. These are basically mirrored. And then naturally two more cabins up here. One right here. So you have the two single beds. Same style of closet. Once again, I love, and you can see it on the closet, but I love this design element in the doors here. And even this one as the quote unquote smallest cabin still have the heated tower rack, toilet and bidet. And I would imagine a really large shower. Rainfall, of course. And then one final cabin. And same as before, heated towel rack, toilet bidet, No compromises. Everything is simply perfect. And then also another really nice feature on this yacht you have, you can see the sliding door right here. 
This will grant you access to the crew area so they can make their way through this passage and then service the guest cabins all without having to go upstairs and then around and back down in this direction. So this is always just a really smart design element. All right, so if we go through this door, you'll see this is the crew mess right here. This is a really large space. Finished really nicely as well. And then all of the different crew cabins are down this hallway. So that staircase that you saw just before in the crew area, that leads to the galley, but I wanted to show you from the main deck. So if we come around here, this is how we get to the galley. So we'll close this behind us. So here you can see the galley. Cold storage right here. You have Mila appliances. And then you also have a dumb waiter so you can send food items up to the upper deck. This double sink over by the window. And then this continues on over in this direction. And then this is another built-in refrigerator in the wall. So you do have plenty of cold storage. It's just hidden nicely. Same thing right over here. I mean, look at that. Commercial fridge and freezer. And then this is the door that leads out to the main salon. The crew also has a door to get to the side deck. And last but not least, a small little stew pantry. So say they're prepping drinks or just anything they need to right here, little coffee bar. So they can bring those out just easily through the door right here. And I think, look at that, even more cold storage. So it's extremely well hidden. And these are Mila, you can see. So top of the line stuff with it all built into the cabinetry. All right, I think we've seen everything on this main deck as well as the lower deck. So, yep, we did point out all that wine storage before. There's just so much of it I had to remember. Now we're going to head up to the bridge deck. And I think we will start all the way forward. Let's check out the bridge. Come through this door. You can see your camera system right here. All of the controls for the super yacht. You have three screens up here and then additional monitoring systems right below that. Of course, your throttle control, the thruster controls, the really cool steering wheel with the Columbus Yachts name embossed right there. And then the captain has a little office space over here. And you also have side access doors on each side of the bridge. As well as, of course, you can see at the little coffee table and the row of bench seating. So we're going to head back to the Sky Lounge, another really bright, really light area. Let's pan around to the other side so you can see your sofa on this side of the room. You have a huge TV on the wall and then a little sectional piece over here. You could add additional furniture here if you wanted to. Once again, even more cold storage for your drinks. Then over here, I wanted to point out, this is where the dumbwaiter comes up. So if you're sending items up and down, you'll access them from right here. And you'll also have the day head for this level located right here. All right, now let's step out to the bridge deck aft. These are powered doors. Now, what do we have out here? You have a circular table right here for alfresco dining. Sorry about that wind again. As you can see, it's a very windy day here in Fort Lauderdale. You have freestanding furniture in all of these different areas. And these poles right here, this is so you can attach a sunshade overhead. So you can have shade in this area if you want it, or you can keep it wide open like it is right now. You have your life raft stored right here. And then over here, 
three really large, like these are full size seats. You have the really large bar stools, the bar top. And then if we come behind the bar, once again, tons of cold storage. So you have ice makers, refrigerators, everything you need to service this area with the little sink as well. And then I am noticing overhead because it's been so windy, you get a lot of that salt wash coming in from the ocean, but you do have skylights overhead. So you just get a little bit of natural light, although this is obviously a very open area. And then of course, there's not another staircase because this is not a tri-deck super yacht. But when you look at the comparable space, I mean, you're getting so much space out here. You have tons of real estate. And the great news is you actually have a tender garage down below in front of the beach club. So you don't have to store anything up here if you don't want to. You just have a wide open space and it's really a huge deck area. And of course, if you look up, you will see your radar mast, your antenna, your radar, satellite, all of that equipment. All right, so let's head down. This staircase will bring us back to the aft deck where we started. So you can see that right here. And then let's head up to the bow. Here you can see that side terrace that folds over. And then guys, make sure you stick around because the engine room and the tender garage, it's such a cool area. And this yacht also features the beach club. So you really are getting a lot of real estate back there. So you don't want to miss that. And we're going to be heading there next. But like I said, you're really not missing out anything of not having that third deck. Cause look at this huge bow area. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. You have everyone's favorite, the hot tub. And I love how it's lined with the teak. So you have the wide teak steps leading up to this level in front of that. Also, I don't think I mentioned it upstairs because we do have them upstairs, but you have the built-in speakers everywhere too. You have a large sun pad area with the umbrellas overhead. And then you can probably see it right underneath the sun pads, you actually have tables. So these cushions, these are removable and you have teak tables underneath. So if you move to the middle cushions, you can have a U-shaped seating surrounding a large teak table. So it's another area for our fresco dining. And it's also obviously with the sun pads, a very convertible space as well. So definitely making the most use of all the real estate on board. And then all the way forward, if you do want some additional toys, you can see you have your wave runner stored up here and a large crane to release it into the water. Guys, I'm, I'm not even, I mean, we still have to go to the engine room. You can hear me, I'm literally speechless. If I had the money, this might be the perfect yacht for me. I'm not gonna lie. We may have found the one for Tony. And of course, if you would be interested in this one, comment down below as well. But yeah, so far for me at least, obviously on these super yachts, there's so many different designs you can go for, so many different features. But for me, this one has honestly been pretty much perfect so far in its entirety. Here's the door right here. This can lead you down to the engine room, but like I said, we're gonna go back here first. As you'll see, huge transom area, or huge beach club area, I should say. And this entire area hinges over flat. So you can see, this is truly a massive space and this will sit flush with the wall when it's up. But obviously it folds over. You can put your beach chairs out here. You have the umbrella. There is a swim ladder so you can get down in and out of the water very easily. And then to go along with it, don't show my wife, they got our favorite champagne in there. We have the built-in shower. And then here is the rest of the beach club where you have another bar area. And I love the beautiful contrast between the white finish and then the woodwork. Same thing right here. Look at this beautiful, I believe that's marble with some glass on top of it. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, it's a beautiful accent wall. And then you even have a day head back here. So if you're out on the water swimming or you're on the jet skis, you don't have to go dripping water all over the yacht. You can just go right here. Let's get this plant out of the way. And then naturally you're gonna have storage your sink, you're gonna have refrigeration back here. Here it looks like you could fit a fridge. I'm not sure if they previously had one or if they just need to replace it. You can see this one's used for storage. 
Let's see if we can find the fridge. Looks like it's mostly storage back here, but don't worry, I haven't given up my search yet. There we go. Normally you can tell the, uh, the little slits here in the wood grain, normally that gives you a sense. It's like some type of exhaust or vent. So you do have a refrigerator back here as well. And clearly, as we saw when we were searching, tons of storage space. So let's step all the way back and give you one more shot of this before we go into the engine room. Before we get to the engine room, you can see you do have the decorated door and then the actual watertight door. And then if we crouch down, we have to watch our head. We have a couple of steps down. Give me one sec, guys. There we go. So you do have to crouch a little bit just in this middle section. Right here, we can fully stand up. But now you can see we're actually in the garage. So you see this crane system here. You can fit your tender all in this area. And then the door over here, very, I mean, this is a feature you normally see on much larger super yachts, but the door right here will hinge open and then you can just release your tender right out into the water. So you keep all of that deck space upstairs that we saw. You also have a little additional spaces of storage back here. You have the huge tool chest, one of your Kohler generators. really nice that all the different mechanical spaces are so easily accessible. Continuing forward, this is where we're actually going to find the engines. And like I said, I love how just open it is. This is just designed so beautifully. It's a little loud in here. So I'm going to show you the engines and then I'll tell you about them when we step out. And there is another hatch to get up and down here if you need to. And you know what? I'm not actually seeing earlier. We talked about the doorway that was potentially entrance to the engine room. That might have just been a storage closet. So don't quote me 100% on that. But clearly you have the hatch over there. And then this is a very easy way to get in here as well. So those engines you saw, those were a pair of MTU 12V 2000 series engines. They produce 1,920 horsepower each, and those engines are combined with two generators producing around 200 kilowatts. You have a top speed of 18 knots, you can cruise at 13 knots, and you have a range of about 2,500 nautical miles. But if you drop it even slower than that into the single digit full displacement speeds, you're looking at up to 5,000 nautical miles. Like I said in the intro, you have a very fuel efficient vessel. At 13 knots, you're burning as low as 40 gallons an hour. That's basically unheard of for a yacht like this. And one thing I just think it's cool that it's a 2013. Obviously, hybrid systems have evolved over time, but this one is definitely ahead of the game when it comes to the fuel efficiency and all the systems on board. All right, so let's climb out of here. We're going to give you one more shot of the main salon. Guys, if you're watching this tour and you've made it this far and you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You clearly love super yachts just as much as I do. So we'll give you one last shot of the main salon. Guys, there's no doubt in my mind. If I had the money, I think this one would be the one for Tony. So thank you so much to Luis Perez for granting me access on board. He's with One Water Yacht Group. I don't think I even pointed that out before, but you have these huge windows too, in addition to all the glass doors for the side deck. But thank you so much for watching. I'm going to link this listing down in the description. So if you want to see it in greater detail, more than we've already covered, you can definitely do so. So check them out. I hope you have a fantastic day and we will catch you next time.